I got my cereal. 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 Good for you. This is just like the real thing. Like the real thing. Like the real thing, Ken. You are talking fast. What? Content settled during shipping? Come on. Holy crap. No. No, give me a refund. I want a refund. Hey, you. Want to hear a joke? Who's the best, loves to watch, but cringes at everything I do? My subscribers. <laughs> Here's another one. What's funny, stupid to react to, and makes you... Ba -ba 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 bored. Answer? These videos. What is up, Master Reactors? Welcome back to a new video. Today, I was just just scrolling on. We're reacting to something different today. But um, I was just scrolling on YouTube for a little bit, you know, seeing what I want to watch or whatever I want to react to, whichever one came first. And then I stumbled across this video titled "They Made a Theme Park for Cereal" from a YouTuber named Scott Kramer. And I just looked at that, and I'm just like. I've never heard of that in my life. Let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Together. You and me. Let's react to it. And, um, yep, that's what we're going to be reacting to today. They made, a theme, they made a theme park for cereal. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. Don't know what to expect. When I hear a theme park for cereal, I'm thinking, how does this go? What? I, I, I actually don't know what I'm thinking because I don't know how this goes. All I can think of is honestly my movie. That just makes me think of my own movie titled Serial Crew, which I talked about on my GZ Studios channel. That's literally all I think of when I hear that sort of thing. So let's just check it out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. And enough of me talking, let's get into this. Huh? My little cousin is here. He's here. And of course, she has to listen to something copyright. Let's get into this. Strugglers, if you don't think I watched every gosh darn Mary Kate oh, Nash... Oh, paid promotion. We have to skip a part. You're out of your mind. Oh, I'm sorry. You also think I didn't watch their 90s sitcom Two of a Kind? Who do you think you're dealing with? One of the straight to I'm literally just stumbling upon you. I don't know what you're talking times about. Growing up ...was called You're Invited to Mary Kate Nashley's Mall Party. And this bad boy had me hyped. <laughs> In hindsight, it was definitely just a 20 minute long advertisement for the Mall of America in Minnesota. I yeah, I know. Now you're talking. Don't spend it all in one place. Meet you in the Rainforest Cafe in one half hour. But I'm a sucker for advertisements, okay? We have a bunch of family that lives in the Minneapolis area, so we took that long I love your shirt. Captain Crunch is my favorite cereal in the galaxy. Wow, this is taking me back. Underwater world? Let's go! I touched a shark there once. Really? I wasn't even scared. Lego imagination? Impressive. I remember racing Lego cars down like a ramp there. Okay, I don't so remember that. Weird. Camp Snoopy amusement park. Or I never heard of that. Play. I've never been there. There was Walmart, this America. iconic log shoot ride there that I probably have been on 9,000 times. It had these big scary Haven't we all been on all on the ride? animatronics inside. I still have nightmares. I gotta be real with you. But literally okay. none of that stuff holds a candle to the ultimate attraction. And what was that? Cereal Adventure. Vacations Why have I never heard of this? New family life. attraction celebrates cereal, as it should. Didn't think you'd ever read that headline, did you? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm celebrating cereal for my movie. Square foot Check it out in theaters in the future. To celebrate cereal. What do you say? Created to no celebrate cereal. No clue yet. Not a film director yet. This is the world I want to live in. We're really doing it right out here, man. They describe it as there a place are, oh, then where you're gonna you love my cereals movie. come to life. Come to life. <laughs> Are you got a customer? Lucky Charms were just a figment of your imagination before Serial Adventure opened. Oh gosh, look at this poor little girl. She's terrified. <laughs> what horrors has she seen in the Cheerios talk? We'll look into all of that. I don't want to know. Very quick sponsor segment. Oh, this is where we skip it. Hey, really quick. So what okay. is there to say about Serial Adventure that hasn't already been said? A lot, apparently. Because yeah, I, I scoured say, the right. internet for information about this place. And, wow, was I having a hard time finding anything. Yeah, it's I never find anything like that anymore. My favorite theme park attraction, and you guys are just going to act like it didn't ever happen. I mean, 
How it probably happened when I was in the city. Okay, because this is a sin. I am. Denise, I was born in 2007, so. Yeah. A part of his show here once. Really? As a child, I longed for the wonderful sugar jack oh. of brightly colored cereals. Thanks to Mall of America, a childhood dream. Is finally realized. Nice the statues. sugar content in this one tooth decaying treat more than makes up for a decade of foodie cereal. I don't think I want to try that. I'm going to call my dentist. <laughs> well, that wasn't very kind. Some may feel was grass it? commercial is like really some soggy that new depths in the cereal milk, but that didn't stop General Mills from opening Cereal Adventure, where your favorite cereals come to life this summer inside the they Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota. Excuse notice. you? Crass commercialism? This place was created to celebrate cereal, you Scrooge. You know, I'm really not appreciating the pessimism surrounding cereal adventure so far. I think we need to change the tone a little bit, move in a more positive direction. Before I snap, you're harming my childish nostalgia. What are you yeah, doing? You don't want to mess with that. Why are you doing this to me? Larger than life characters include a 50 foot tall Sonny the Cuckoo Bird, a 36 foot Trix Rabbit, and a 24 foot Lucky the Leprechaun. There's also a 24 foot high Wheaties box, quote, so big it could hold 17,280 regular size Wheaties packages. Dang! God, but uh, what is Wheaties? <laughs> That's such a funny sentence. Never heard of that. So, so big it could hold 17,280 regular size Wheaties packages. Can't believe they just come out and talk about your mom like that. <laughs> this got cream for so I don't know what it is about things being oversized like that, but I get a kick out of it. Cow, okay, I would watch buffalo, that show. Big pheasant. They Whoa. always bring me great joy. Check this out. I got over my fear of Paul Bunyan to take this picture. Look at how happy I am. Look at that smile. And look at those eyes. Ugh. Paul has seen some shit. I just remember being at the Snoopy amusement park once as a kid, standing in line for the Pepsi Ripsaw roller coaster. And they had that. Up into the sky, How and old seeing are you? that great big sign just peeking over the horizon, calling my name. I simply had to experience it, okay. and I think I've kept you waiting long enough. It's time for you to experience it as well. Thank the you. The only footage that I could find of this place, other than Anthony Bourdain being a hater, was from this I'm Minnesota repeat that part. I don't segment. Remember that hearing set up in the Mall of America. We took a tour. This is Serial Adventure, and it's brand new. We just opened it this week at the Mall of America. Basically, it's where your favorite cereals come to life. They really they stick to that slogan. That one, huh? Hey, quick question, guys. Is this the place where my favorite cereals come to life? Because because if not, I think I'm just going to go. You're greeted by gigantic Trix Rabbit oh. and Lucky the... Uh, little thing, I've seen the comments. I read every single comment. No joke. And I don't really get a lot of comments, but the comments I do get, they always... They, a lot of them say, React to more Steve Tannerberry. React to more. Wait, I want some more Steve Tannerberry reaction. You gotta react to them. They're funny. Hey, you should react to this video, you know? More Steve T Steve Tannerberry. I've seen the comments. I'm going to react to more Steve Terry. You'll get it soon. In fact, you'll get it. I don't know about next time. Maybe. Maybe. I. It depends. When did I upload my Black Badger videos reactions yet? I don't know if I uploaded those yet. But if I haven't, then that will be next time. But if I have, then the Steve Terry reactions will be next time. I don't know the future. I don't know. But um, yeah. Just just look forward to those. I think maybe one or two reactions. And anyway, so let's just get back into the air. I, I'm sorry, I just had to say that. Leprechaun, as you enter in, the whole purpose is really to celebrate. Down the below, what's your favorite cereal mascot? Mine? Really Captain Crunch, because he, he's my, he always my favorite cereal. Love. Nowadays, if you want to interact with the brands you love, you gotta go on Twitter. Catch me on the mall. Spend a lot of Twitter. I don't spend a lot of time on Twitter. Okay, Wendy's I do have a Twitter account, though. Stop using another one, though. And this is where you really. I'm not the really one to post a lot. I'm, I'm a Facebook guy. And really the whole process of how cereal is made. You walk through... Kids really don't care to learn how cereal is made. They're like, hey, I want cereal. Want to eat cereal. They're not like, how do you make cereal? I don't like that. Okay, a lot of this is kind of boring, believe it or not. Yeah, I, no, I believe it. Can't be true. Not cereal adventure. Boring? What? There are some little knobs and like, I don't know, buckets that you can 
turn, I guess. In a room where grain falls on the roof, which is neat. What's grain again? Is that the rice cooker street stuff? I'd say that's an easy top five things that all kids tend to love. Whenever really? people are talking about things that entertain kids, being surrounded by the grain is always up there. You're being sarcastic, right? Is that safe? Are they allowed to let kids go down a slide that's that big? Going that fast, that's got to be some kind of hazard, right? We go from I didn't need a better angle to understand. Into this fun, colorful, interactive area. This offers a video showing vintage. They're just having fun. Inside actual factories. Oh. To really give kids an idea of. I'm sorry, ma'am. These kids are not paying attention to literally anything that's going on on those TVs. Nope. Dude saw a wheel and his brain told him to spin it. <laughs> All right, nothing more, nothing less. Pushing buttons and flipping. He's less than 10 years old. He doesn't understand this stuff. None of them do. None of them understand. They weren't listening. They're just like, hey, push button. Spin thing. Brain don't work well because I'm in the third grade. Local carnivals and haunted houses. That's what they're like. Yeah, whoa, okay. If you get dizzy easily, cover your eyes for a second. Okay. Oh, dang, those are gnarly. It kind of eh, puts seem better. one at Serial Adventure to shame, if I'm being honest. That Serial Cooker ain't got nothing on this. Kids can yeah. walk through Obviously. on a soft floor that feels like it's, they're walking on the dough. This is Man, where the I heat hate the this cooker. angle. Why is it got to be side? And really feel part of the process. They see it light up, and the heat moves all the way to the cooker and makes the dough heat up. I don't need That's the shade or anything. biggest fake but I've these ever look seen. like some vacation Bible school decorations. Yeah, that's <laughs> How much so did fake. This place cost to build millions of dollars. Where, Where does did... it go? Where do? Who? We're gonna do. Please come into this Make your own cereal. Right. To like it, I wonder what kind we like. Hold on, we're gonna pause. We're we're gonna pause real quick. Choose your cereal: Cocoa Puffs, Lucky Charms, Kix. Ew, no. Cheerios, Golden Grahams, Trix, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Rice. Uh, Rice checks. Some rice checks. Do they mean rice krispie treats? Treats? Is that? I'm not mean to play. Alright, didn't mean to play, but okay. I would choose the Lucky Charms, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, obviously, and the Tricks. You give me kicks in, kicks in my cereal, and I'll punch you right in the throat and make you as dead as the people in the Suicide Squad. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of getting. To sing. And if that actually is Rice Krispie Treat cereal, and just text for short, then yeah, put that in my cereal box too. Um, some Lucky Charms and Golden Grahams. You are the worst Rose chooser ever. Yourself, Liv, Liv you don't have good taste. Oh, nice box. Floor to our store where they're gonna fill it with the cereal that we asked to be put in there. That very okay. combination. And okay. 20 minutes later, we'll be able to pick it up. Holy smokes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes later? They're just mixing a few existing cereals into the same box. Exactly. So down on the second level, shooting each individual piece into the box. <laughs> Imagine doing that. that That's the worst. I. No. No. Pharmacists. Why does what? it take five hours to put six pills in an orange cup? What are they trying to hit it from like ten feet away? I got my cereal. I got my cereal. This I got my cereal. Like the I got my cereal. Thing. Thing. Good for you. Shooting that story, I was not nice there, talk. but this is just like the real thing. Like the real thing. Like the real thing, Kim. You like are talking thing. fast. Again, guys. It's not even full. <laughs> it's half empty. What? Content settled during shipping. Yeah. Come on. Holy crap. No. <laughs> no, give me a refund. I want a refund. He's a man of integrity. I better get my school box, Serial Adventure. This was a hard sell for my grandma when she brought us to the Mall of America. Really? She would take us to Camp Snoopy, and then we would all get the unlimited ride wristbands, which were not cheap. So she was okay. already being extremely generous towards I, us. My and family then, of is. course, I was like, Grandma, we gotta pay extra money to go to the cereal land. Because I see a big statue up there, Grandma. I gotta see what the big statue's all about, Grandma. Children will view it Funny. as a fun experience, said John, who specializes in children's marketing. Of course, they don't pay the admission. Ain't How that expensive true? is it? There's a segment of people who will feel this is not what they want to spend their time with, another group who will simply find it too expensive, and another who will say, why not? You know, initially my grandma was in the group of, we're not, no, come on. 
<laughs> but yeah. we turned on the charm, we gave her a little dimply smile. What is sympathize? Is it this? And it's funny how memories Is it work. that? Because when I was I don't, watching the I, TV I really story, don't understand, really. I didn't... None of that was familiar to me. I really? I kind of vaguely remember the cooker thing, but I didn't... That was never something that I thought back about. It was okay. just when I saw it, it kind of triggered something in my brain. There are only two things about that park that I actually remember. And the first one was this Cocoa Puffs kind of ride thing. It was a VR video game type of thing. You would sit inside the Cocoa Puff and there was a screen and I think it was on a track and it would move and you were like playing some kind of video game or whatever. Huh. And I don't know, I think I remember that costing extra money as well. So I'm very sorry for that. And then the other thing that I remember Ooh, was grandma's this wallet. Cheerios it is not uh, like play that. area, and everything was all padded and soft because <laughs> we were reckless. And then the Cheerios were massive and oversized, and it was just kind of like this netted off area with this big ramp, and you could roll the Cheerios up and then down. And um, I don't know, I remember that was like such a cool memory to me. Although describing it out loud, it sounds pretty lame. So after watching that news segment and then not referencing either of those two things, I thought maybe I was misremembering it because my brain is essentially nothing more than a blended up kid cuisine poured into my skull. But then I finally found this article that listed all of the attractions within Serial really? Adventure. And wouldn't you know it, look at this. Among the entertaining and educational areas within Serial Adventure, Cheerios Play Park. Young children can slide down a giant spoon into a Cheerios filled cereal bowl or climb up the- Okay, all right, pause real quick. I'm, I'm I want to check out the list. Okay, so let's read it all. all right. It might take a little bit. You don't have to read, it, watch this with me. Just skip, just skip, just skip if you want, but let's read it. Cheerios Play Park includes a timeline of Cheerios 60 year old, 60 year history and very, shoot, my phone is on 20%, gotta record fast. History and variety of games for the toddler set. Young children can slide down a giant spoon to a Cheerios field a cereal bowl or climb up the honey in the eyes and wave to their parents. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Tricks Fruity Carnival offers a festive atmosphere under a carnival tent with games including Funhouse Mirrors, Skeetball, Skeetball, I thought it was Skeetball, and a zoo trope, which is moving football scene ep through a special food. That's, that's interesting. Lucky Charms Magical Forest um, features a rainbow slide that takes kids down to a full story from a mall of America, third floor to the second floor, into a giant pot of marshmallow shapes. Kids can explore a maze of giant shamrocks, sham shamrocks on a special floor that makes visitors feel like they're walking on marshmallows. Okay, I can't really imagine that, but that does sound nice. Cocoa Puffs. Chocolate Canyon includes an enormous Cocoa Puffs in which kids can sit and play a vi video game featuring Cindy the Cuckoo Bird on three different chocolate adventures. The seats move along with the game, ensuring a, ensuring a totally virtual experience. Okay, so what he was saying was true. He has been through that stuff. All right, that's interesting. Interesting. What is Wheaties though? Could someone please tell me in the comments below? Wheaties Hall of Champions includes locker. Includes lockers, packed with vintage Wheaties box, sports artifacts, and information on past Wheaties champions. Victors can pose for their own souvenir Wheaties boxes for 1995 with their picture displayed on the three foot high box for all to see. I'm good. I'll stick to the Lucky Charms tricks and um, any cereal other than trick to ticks, ticks or whatever it was. Mix was it? Uh, I'm good with the Wheaties. I'm good. Farm to Factory. Invites kids to explore the cereal. Alright, we already saw that. Make your own cereal. We also saw that. Visitors can... Wait, hold on. Visitors can take their heart. Six ninety five For your own cereal box that's half full? Nah, 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 nah. Give me my refund now! Alright. That's so... I mean, this sounds interesting. Kind of, I guess. But... Yeah, definitely expensive. I'm in that part of, that, of the group that's like... Not worth my time. Worth to check out though, I guess. Like, oh, visit, like someone's taking me. You know, I would have accepted it, but paying for it? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You can forget about it. And wouldn't you know it? Look at this. Among the entertaining and educational areas within Serial Adventure, Cheerios Play Park. Young children can slide down a giant spoon into a Cheerios filled cereal bowl or climb up the Honey Nut Hive and wave to their parents below. I would climb up the Honey Nut Hive, and I did wave to my parents. 
Like, I, I went to my grandma. My parents were there. <laughs> Where are your parents, then? includes enormous Cocoa Puffs. You know how I feel about things being oversized. No, I don't know. I just met you. a video game featuring Sonny the Cuckoo Bird on three different chocolate adventures. The seats move along with the game, ensuring a totally virtual... So basically the Simpsons ride right at Universal. Kid Cuisine coming in handy today. I am riding high right now. Okay, the nostalgia is almost too much to handle. For the longest time, I kind I of thought maybe I was merging memories From and other this stuff. park didn't actually exist. Yeah. I had asked friends about it. Nobody knew what I was talking about. I tried to find You asked me, I would say, what place. the heck are you talking Probably about? My grandmother thought we don't need to remember this. It's not this is not gonna <laughs> Your grandma in must lives. have an awful Let's experience. Let's not bust out the, the Nikon for this one. But gosh <laughs> darn it, I feel great now. Knowing that it was real, seeing okay. some video of it, and I think it's time that I go back. After all these years, it's been it's over so 20 years since I was a serial adventure, and I need to see it again with my own eyes. Let's frickin' go. Come on. Okay, um, is it still up, actually? i never seen it at the Mall of America. i never seen any footage of it, so I don't think it's really still up. I still like your shirt. It was right here. It was right here at the top of some escalators. Yeah, it's what gone. It's got replaced Anybody? by Nickelodeon. Okay. What, what story? You know what? I feel like it's a better replacement. This feels wrong. Where's Snoopy? Who the hell is this? Okay, I, I would love to see that Snoopy thing, though. This place. It's been taken over by Nickelodeon. I don't know if Where I want to ride that ride. It goes upside down. Maybe I looked in the wrong spot. You know, I actually want to go here someday. Like maybe even record it. Gone. Maybe record it, all it too. The way here. I deserve so much more than this. This is so freaking embarrassing. Everyone here is laughing at me. I can just. Tell I mean, I'll laugh at your editing. It. If it's actually funny. Shirt anyway. Not by like, make funny. General Mills. He's a dang quick. No, I keep the shirt. It's Captain Crunch. I'm the big cocoa puffs. I'll never get to climb the honey hive or interact with my favorite brands. Oh, and being surrounded by the grain? Yeah, forget about it. That's not happening. It took me over four hours to get here, and for what? I can't just go home. That'd be a waste of an entire day. Hang on. Mary Kate and Ashley spent a ton of time at the Mall of America. They found okay. so many fun things to do. I could follow their lead. You're literally in oh Nickelodeon Universe right now. The yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. Sea life. Okay. Where you touch your touch your shark? Is that the shark you meant? <laughs> you know what? I take back my respect and impressiveness for you. You touched a paper shark. A lot right. Nice. You're having a good time. Ah, this is the place where you have that scary Paul Bunyan statue. I mean, that does look a little bit. Yeah. Wee! That was fun. A Nickelodeon universe picture too. Rainforest Cafe. I got some souvenirs, okay? Well, you're a happy man. Nice background, too. Or wall. Well, that was fun. I'm a little okay. upset that I didn't look into it a little bit more and see that Serial Adventure closed after just under three years of being in operation. Under three That's years of operation. One of those articles I was reading. That okay. doesn't just sound good. No reason, whatever. Hey, you still had a fun time. Not to matter. About my awesome stories as a child, and you think, oh, maybe there's a serial adventure near me that I can go to. There's not. This is I the first don't think and so. only, said Lane. There will not be more of them. It's one of a kind. No, no, no. no. When I'm rich, I'll make my own. Uh, don't worry. I'll make a good one. Why they didn't I'll make a good one. This is Once the movie comes out, a serial curl, I'll make a good one. For all of you people, first and first you, Scott. We're out of touch with the consumer. This is our way to connect one on one. You're serious? So we built a serial themed amusement park in the Mall of America to connect with consumers. <laughs> hey, it's more fun than a TV commercial, I'll tell you that. I actually mm -hmm. kind of hope that Defunct Land does cover this in some capacity at some point because they're really good at finding old footage and photos. And I just really, really had a hard time finding any of that. If anybody that's watching this video has been to Serial Adventure... Sorry, I don't think I was around when, when I I need visual it. proof that the Cocoa Puffs thing happened. Excuse me. All right, I was born in 2007. I was probably pictures, either not that, existing at all, or I was probably a little baby. Watching. I want to shout out somebody 
that did something very cool. I'll link the video in the description, but this person made a medley of a bunch of my songs that I've made over the years. And they played it on Ocarina. And I just appreciate this so much. It's so huh. kind, it's so fun to see like, Something we have another Steve Terry again. I gotta make songs. By somebody else. Because, you know, as yes, I saw that comment too. I even heard it. I heard every comment. No matter what. Disappears into the world. But to see that real people Pop, are seeing Patreon. it, connecting with okay. it, and enjoying it. Go to my Patreon. So I'll ask reactions for and free for two weeks. My patrons, those listed here are in the top tier. You guys are awesome. Let's all hop in a bus and we'll drive to the nearest serial themed amusement park. The second that it opens. If you want to pick up some merch, struggle <laughs> okay, shop. Okay, I'll Thank you once again for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing, all that good stuff. I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye. But, but. Yes, moving. Why do I want to see that? Stop the camera. We're no strangers to love, okay? But seriously, I don't want to see that. No offense. But it was fun. Alright, you raised grandma? Well, I guess we won't know. Alright guys, that was... They made a theme park for cereal, or... That was the title, right? What was the title? Yep, they made a theme, they made a theme park for cereal. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was interesting. That was, that was really interesting, you know? I've never seen cereal adventure anywhere before. So, that was, that was kind of cool. Uh, some rides, definitely no, but... It did sound interesting. I can't really imagine it in my head, especially if not like a, like a, like a, a, uh, a, um, what's, what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? I was just talking about this another time, just a couple days ago, what, what's the word? The blueprint, I guess? The, uh, yeah, I would say the blueprint. I can't really imagine this, without, like, like a, especially without a blueprint. But it does sound cool. Scott Kramer. Um, I'm glad you had a fun time. I'm glad you had a fun little experience. I'm sorry that it got shut down. It's just one of a kind. But don't worry. Don't worry. If my movie ever succeeds when it comes out, hopefully, Serial Crew, whenever it, it succeeds, I'll think about making a Serial uh, Adventure Park. Maybe, like, like, a limited time every year, you know? You know, who knows? Who knows? And I'll give you a free ticket to there. A VIP pass. How about that? Hmm? Let, don't worry. I'll make sure you, you get your Serial Adventure again. And, um, even you Patreon, so you can even go on a bus with him, like he said. <laughs> I'll make that true. I'll make it true. And, um, that, that was cool. That was cool. Definitely gotta react to some more of the stuff from this guy. Yeah, um, it was, uh, it was fun. I'm gonna like the video. I'm gonna like it. Yeah. Alright, um, hold on, what? What, what is this? Kids' Choice Awards, the only award show that... Oh, we gotta check that out. We gotta check that out. Maybe not next time, but we gotta check it out, okay? Uh, he made a video on a kid's choice. We gotta check it out. Scott Creamer, I'm subscribing. We gotta check your videos out, okay? We're gonna react some more in the future. But anyways, guys, that was the video. What did you guys think about it? Leave a comment down below. Remember to comment down below your favorite cereal mascot, too. And also comment what you about what you thought about the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys liked it, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell, click on one of the videos on the two screen, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!